Hello folks, Andrew from Camping World here. I thought I'd give you a little walk around on the uh, Navion here, the 24J 2011. Uh, a little bit about this here, I'll turn the camera towards it. A little bit about this here, this was purchased here, like I told you, it was purchased here originally uh, by a couple that uh, had it for about a year and a half and then they, they just traded it on, on a big motorhome. They wanted to do some uh, long-term traveling, so they bought a uh, diesel motorhome. Very cool people here. So there it is. Has the full body paint, the electric awning on that. Uh, we generally order these with a pretty full package, so it definitely has it. So, just a few things about it. I'll keep this short and sweet here. Um, have the uh, little bit of storage right here. Uh, they put as much as they can in here. Whoop! Got a tug. There we go. Right there. Okay. Um, has some storage right back here, which is actually underneath the bed. All right, and then this has the Onan generator, a 3600 watt generator. A little bit of storage right behind it there. All right. Once again, like I said, the electric awning there, if we can see that. Uh, ladder there, of course, goes to the roof. One thing about these, these have the fiberglass roof. There's fiberglass and there's rubber roofs. Fiberglass is a lot stronger, much better. Nothing wrong with a rubber roof, but uh, fiberglass roofs are way, way, way better. Okay, of course, got the slide out there. Got uh, down here is just your, your dump, space, dump station there. And then over here, that little compartment door underneath the slide there, a little bit more storage. Okay, of course, this is on the, uh, the Mercedes, the Sprinter chassis. And these get, they were getting reports of about uh, 16 to 18 miles a gallon on these things. All right, and we'll pop inside here. Okay, so here we go at the inside. Hopefully we can, it's a little, little small, so it's kind of hard to get it all in the camera here, but a uh, little look out of here. Of course, the booth there. Great looking storage cabinets up there. Pretty much put it wherever they can. Just really just getting the, letting you get a look here. All right. More storage there. Got the big sink there. Definitely kind of oversized for something like this. And then the two burner two burner stove there and then the uh, the microwave here which would be a convection microwave there oh, it doesn't even look like they used it there but uh, all in good shape here got the corner bed there all right uh, you can see the shade there I'll actually get it on this right here hopefully I can get it in the video here these are what they, they call these are they used to do day night shades which are the fabric ones these are actually pretty cool because you have this shade here which is your day shade and then and I hope I'm getting this that's your night shade there and just a little tug boom and it rolls up itself kind of cool there all right and then the bathroom, probably not a whole lot exciting about the bathroom, but a decent sized shower there for a smaller RV. Okay, porcelain toilet, toilet there with a foot flush. Definitely better on the foot flush. Okay, and then of course the bed up top there, which I have folded up there. All right, and then the dash. So it's got the carpet down here, which is removable there, which a lot of people like. And then the, uh, the chairs on these do flip around. The older model did not. These do. Much better thing because you get the, uh, the chairs as your living area there. So, all right. So, there you go. And if you have any questions, get a hold of me. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.